Can I find you? 
like to pray for the church and the nations, especially the nations of Russia, China, North Korea, Israel, the oppressed nations of the earth, Ephesians 1, most beautiful God, nations are your son's inheritance. So I lift up these nations to you, Lord, today, the church in these nations, for the flourishing of the church in these nations, God, where corruption and oppression seems to be the, the way it is in everyday life. And I ask you, Father of glory, this morning as we pray in this little prayer room, that you would pour out your spirit on the church in Russia and China, in North Korea, in Israel, that the revelation of your son with wisdom and revelation would awaken the hearts of people, believers and non-believers alike, that you, God, would give your son his inheritance in these nations, that the church would arise and take her place, that you would illuminate the eyes of her understanding, that she would know the hope of her calling, that young Russians, young North Koreans would know who they are before your throne. They would hear your call and they would say yes to you today, God. In China, in Israel, in Russia, Father, pour out your spirit and give to them the revelation of being the inheritance of the living God, the only true and living God. Father, would you break in on these nations in the church, God? Would you show them the greatness of your power to protect them, to keep them, to guard them from the evil one? You are near to the brokenhearted. You are near to the oppressed, Lord. You do not leave them unattended to. So I ask you to pour out your spirit this morning to release the power and the might of the revelation of Jesus and his coming. That you would pour out your spirit that young adults in these nations would rise up in the revelation of Jesus to become preachers and teachers, to become messengers, doctors and lawyers, messengers of your heart, God that they would know you and be your friend, that they would have fellowship and partnership with you in this hour of history in their nation. Oh God, I ask you to break in and demonstrate the greatness of your power towards a life who believes to keep them, to help them, to minister and comfort them. Lord, I ask you today in your mercy and loving kindness and the desire of your heart that none should perish. Would you break in in the church on the peoples of these countries, Lord, Would you, with the wisdom and revelation of the knowledge of your son? Would you open their eyes supernaturally, Lord? Give them hope on the inside, Lord. Give the young adults in these countries hope on the inside for a future and a life with you, God. I ask you today, in the name of your son, pour out your spirit and give wisdom and revelation of the knowledge of your son in Jesus name.
which you, the living God of the universe, want to mark them and keep them and raise them up in this hour of history to be yours and yours alone, to reveal to them the riches of the glory of your son Jesus and being his inheritance for now and forever, God, I ask you to break in and open the eyes. Let there be a great awakening in Russia and China in North Korea, God, and in Israel with young adults, would you pour out your spirit on them, awaken them to the hope of their calling, in Jesus' precious name. Oh, break in with light and with truth. Light and truth. Give them hope by your spirit. Give them divine hope, God. Realities would become truth in our hearts. 
morning, Father, that as the word of the Lord is preached, as it is taught and sung, that you would pour out your spirit on it and release power, that the word of the Lord would run swiftly and be glorified in the hearts of believers all over the earth, all over America, all over the earth or the different continents. I ask that your word would run swiftly and be glorified, that you yourself would deliver and heal and set free that you would yourself would release apostolic power, that the blind would see and the deaf would hear, the lame would walk, that you, God, yourself would touch the heart of believers all over the earth today, God, and your word would, would shine brightly inside, that young men and old men would be delivered from the wicked, from evil and wicked men that do not have faith, but that you yourself would step in in the nations of the earth and the word of the Lord would run swiftly and be glorified. That by your word that hearts, millions of hearts, God, would be directed into the ocean of your love today as the gospel goes forth, as worship leaders sing, as the songs are sung, God, open the eyes of people's understanding and bring them into the love of Christ so they feel it on the inside, God. Let the church feel you today, God, your loving kindness, your great care and your great deliverance. We ask you today, God, as we pray, that the word of the Lord would run swiftly and be glorified in Jesus' precious name.
Lord, I pray for the African American communities that you would set your hand upon them in Kansas City. Lord, I pray for worshipers and singers and preachers. Lord, that you would raise them up in Kansas City. Father, I pray for the healing anointing to be released from the church. Lord, that we would see the great miracles and healings that you promised over the prayer movement. Father, I'm asking that you would release revelation of Jesus to your church that would produce violent allegiance, God, and, and one holy obsession, God, that it would just release one cry that would send your church to the ends of the earth, God, to finish the great commission, God, I ask that you would just send your Holy Spirit, exalt Jesus in our midst, God, and reveal him, his heart, as bridegroom, as king, and as judge, in Jesus' name. Praying for the churches of Haiti. The call is going to Haiti. Lord, we pray that you would open heart, you would set soul, you would uh, just do divine uh, intervention, you would set up those hearts to listen. So they could turn away from their false god, from their idols, from their demons, and, and, and reply and answer to the true living, breathing God who created the heaven and the earth. We owe no, no, Jesus, amen.
for North Korea and South Korea, that the Lord would strengthen and release revival in those nations. Father, you said in the last days that you pour out your spirit upon your people, upon your sons and your daughters. They would prophesy, they would do miracles, signs and wonders. The Lord, I lift up the two nations, North Korea and South Korea. Lord, I pray that you would strengthen the believers, God, that are already there. Lord, I pray that you would pour out your spirit. Father, I pray for mind to be upon their hearts. I pray that revelation of Christ, the love of God, would strike them. God, I pray for encounters with God, the living God. Lord, I pray that you would be a fire in their midst. Lord, I pray the revival that had come in the past, that you send them again in greater measures. Lord, we know the words spoken over the nations. God, I pray that you would bring them forth. Lord, I pray for revival in South Korea. I pray for revival in North Korea. Lord, that you come and pour your spirit upon the church and those nations, that you give strength and revelation. Lord, I pray that you'd open up the heavens over those two countries, that you'd send your spirit, that you'd awaken those two nations in Jesus' name.
upon the young people, the young adults, and the children in those nations that you would remove oppressive systems and that you would awaken the bride and pray for a spirit of revelation. Lord, I pray for your glory to be upon them. Lord, for great prayer and worship to be in your church. God, I pray they would release power, signs and wonders and miracles. Lord, I pray for the young adults in South Korea that you would anoint them, that you would send your word to their midst. God, they would declare your word and prophesy it. They would speak it forth in intercession. Lord, I pray for you musicians and singers, worship leaders, God, preachers with your anointing. Lord, I pray that you raise them up in the nations, Lord. That you give them voices in the countries. You give them a voice of intercession. They would see breakthrough, God, in these days. They would see revival. They'd see the breaking out of power. They would see things changing in the governments, God. They would see oppressive systems changing. Lord, I pray for their destiny as a worship nation, as a place of intercession, Lord. Lord, I pray for that spirit of prayer and worship, a young adult movement to worship and intercession. Lord, I pray for calls, I pray for solemn assemblies all over those nations, God, in the secret places, God, even the public places. Lord, I pray, awaken your praying church. Send your spirit to North Korea, South Korea. I pray for the fullness of the destiny in Jesus' name. Send your power. Spirit, God, I'm asking that you would come to California, 
that you would open up the heavens over California. God, we've seen your move. God, we've heard how you moved in California, how you moved on the West Coast. Father, we're asking you that starting this morning that you would do it again. God, that you would visit the state of California. God, that when you look on it, that you would look on it with mercy. God, that when you look at California, God, that you would see the church. God, that you would stir her up. God, that you would endue her with power. God, shake California from her slumber. God, shake California from her drunkenness. God, send revival in the name of Jesus.
Come move me again 
Oh, mm-hmm. 
Jesus Cause you love 